Good afternoon. And the first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend David Logan, Minister of Carlaverock and Dumfries St Mary's Great Powers. Thank you. Presiding officer, members, it's only 10 days that have elapsed since we're all bringing in the new year. It's a time for Scots the world over to take stock, to look back on the year that has been and the year which lies before them, which is full of promise. It's also the time that many of us make New Year resolutions. You know the type of things to run a marathon, to lose half your body weight in a month, to give up smoking. Whatever promises we make in front of others, we are really making to ourselves. Sadly, most of these promises will turn to dust as the year moves on. And somehow we do not have the will or the willpower to make them come true. Many of you in this chamber will have made similar personal resolutions and like most people, you will find them hard to achieve. But there is one resolution I would like you to consider today. And that is to do an act of kindness to somebody each and every day. I'm not talking about political imperative. I'm not talking about party requirements. I'm talking about taking individual actions that will benefit another without any promise of thanks or recognition. As a minister, I often witness selfless acts by others, and it always warms my heart when I see such open-heartedness in action. Whether it is doing a shopping for somebody or perhaps paying forward a cup of coffee for someone who cannot afford even such a basic treat. I belong to the Order of St. John, a charitable organization which is dedicated to the encouragement and promotion of all work of humanity and charity for the relief of persons in sickness, distress, suffering, or danger. It does this without distinction of race, class or creed. These principles should be the watchwords of how we Scots treat each other and those who visit our country. As a Christian, I strive to follow the teachings of Christ about loving my neighbour, but you do not need to be the follower of any faith to treat all with dignity, respect and charity. If you will, I would ask that each one of you in this chamber consider making that your New Year resolution for 2017. I think you might find that easier to keep than most resolutions. Happy New Year and all the best for this session of Parliament.